and we've seen that uh, everything has been able to expand out as far as pricing uh, when we're long it and we want things to contract when we're short it. Uh, I think what's important to uh, realize is that you have to do a little bit of under analyzation on volatility. Uh, you don't want to be buying a straddle at historically high levels of volatility. You want to be buying straddles at lower level of volatility with a, an expecting big move in the stock. That's the grand slam play. If you buy a straddle at uh, fair value level or, or normal levels, but you're still expecting a, a big move, that's a winning trade. Do you buy volatility uh, at high levels expecting a big move? In some cases that works, but basically you're working against yourself because one of the factors is already against you being the volatility high already. On the sell side of a straddle, we want things to be static. We want things to be calm. We want time to, to pass. We want the stock to have very tight ranges. And we want to collect on the collapsing volatility. So what we're looking for there is let's get into a scenario that is probably going to help us, where volatilities are historic are implied higher than the historical. So we got a little edge. Remember, everything we're doing, we're looking to give ourselves some edge. Uh, Buying or selling is a 50-50 probability. We're trying to find a way to create spreads to enhance and increase that probability. Same thing is true with when we talk about uh, when we get in these straddles, when we get into these, the long side or the short side. What are the different scenarios? Uh, if you remember when we talked about calendar spreads, I talked about how right before earnings, volatility explodes okay, uh, on most of the months, the front two months primarily. That's going to happen with these straddles as well. You're going to see the volatility explode. Uh, so the question is, if you've got a pretty good understanding or handle on what you think vol's uh, earnings should be, and you look at the historical levels of vol, and now you look at the implied vol uh, of these uh, earning stocks before our expiration, before the, vol the earnings announcement, is it a time to get in and buy these straddles, or is it a time to sell these straddles? But there's risk. But there's also a good opportunity for reward if you're getting on the right side of the equation. So, you know, looking at stocks that are moving into earnings cycles, you're going to see uh, volatility creep up and increase until it probably maximizes the day before, and then you're going to see it collapse when it comes out. Uh, a lot of times you're going to see people doing straddles and strangles and stocks like that. Uh, so those are areas to look at. Other areas to look at, look at stocks that may have prospective deals or takeovers. You're going to notice that those stocks, the vol really picks up. Now, is that vol uh, warrant? the pricing of the deal, or can you maybe use some of that selling of that vol and those straddles to take advantage of that? Um, you know, you got to look at the market and the, the tone of the overall market, uh, because right now the market's made a big run-up. Vol, the VIX is trading, what, 21.20, 21.60 around there? Uh, so vol's coming in again. So vol probably is uh, implied a little bit lower than it's been historical. But, you know, that might be an opportunity to get in uh, on the long side of these straddles, because maybe there's some opportunities to the downside uh, with the market taking a respite. So you want to look at stocks like that, uh, stocks that look like they've made a very strong run up, looks like they're getting tired, looks like they might start backing off, and looks like Baal, I'm sure, has collapsed in those stocks. So it may be a great time to go in there and buy stock, buy the straddle. Uh, so there, there's different opportunities for different scenarios, but they're all relative to uh, each of the specifics in a particular stock related to the overall market. And, and remember uh, our initial uh, qualities that we always talk about, that we want to make sure that we trade the size that we can afford, that is relative to our capital, trade the size that is relative to our stress levels so that we don't burn ourselves out or we're not ready to go to work the next day. Uh, markets there every day. Um, you know, yeah, 8.30 every day. Uh, and the fun part about the market is every day is another opportunity. So don't think that you missed something because you didn't get it on today or didn't trade today. Uh, and, and the one thing that uh, I've always believed in and I want to continue to stress as well, besides those uh, building blocks and foundations of the equalities, uh, singles and doubles, baby. Singles and doubles builds big mountains. Uh, the guy that has the pile at the end of the game, he's the guy with the most money. Uh, the guy that has the biggest trades, the biggest winners, yeah, or the gal, biggest uh, guy or gal with the biggest pile, they're the winners. Uh, it's he who has all the, all the gold at the end is the winner, uh, he or she, not uh, the one that has uh, 
a pile of gold today, and I, won't, I can't use that word at the, on, a, on the following day, but he has a pile of that too. Uh, so uh, that really is the presentation on straddles. Uh,